This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Rwandans have voted on Monday in parliamentary elections expected to shore up the power of President Paul Kagame's ruling party a year after he was re-elected with 98% vote. Currently, all 53 seats are held by the ruling PRPF and parties that are allied with or back government policies. Opposition parties are vying for 53 seats out of 80 in parliament. The remaining 27 seats are reserved for women, youth, the disabled, which are all elected by special councils and national committees. The Rwandan Patriotic Front, RPF, has been in power for 24 years. Zimbabwe's ZANU-PF youth has reportedly rejected plans to raise the presidential age limit to 55 years, vowing to resist the move they call selfish and evil plot. Zimbabwe's constitution currently allows people aged 40 and older to stand for presidential office, but the ruling party sought to increase the age limit to ensure only mature people contest for the highest office in the land. 40-year-old Opposition Democratic Change MDC Alliance candidate Nelsi Chamiza was accused of being immature in handling defeat after he lost to President Imas Nagwagwa in the late July poll, causing the move to amend the constitution. Youth League politi political official Godfrey Tishenegamu has described the proposed amendment as a punishment against innocent generations. Stay with us. We'll be back after this short break. gives 2,000% bonus for reactivating your MTN sale. That's right! If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. During China-Africa summit in Beijing, a top Chinese official said on Tuesday, China is helping Africa develop, not pile up debt. As the government pushes back against criticism, it is loading the continent with burden. President Xi Jinping pledged $60 billion to African nations at Monday's opening of China-Africa Forum on Cooperation, matching the size of funds offered at the last summit in Johannesburg three years ago. African nations seeking to restructure their debt with China has served as a reality check for Beijing's ties with the continent, though most African countries still see Chinese lending as the best bet to develop their economies. Chinese Special Envoy for Africa, Xu Jinggu, said, quote, If we take a closer look at these African countries that are heavily in debt, China is not their main creditor, end quote. That's ANN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, annafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV. Instagram and Twitter at TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.